Hi, this is Roger from Kanker Labs and today a little deviation from the electronics tools that I usually present to you in these videos. Today it's about that every maker should of course have a nerdy or geeky watch to get attention at social meetups or uh, something that everybody approaches you when he sees it and I've brought uh, some of my nerd watches uh, back from home. The first one is the famous Nixie watch from David Forbes. I'll show you how it works. You tilt it uh, to a 45 degree angle and then it displays uh, with two uh, miniature Nixie tubes. First the hours, then the minutes. You might have seen this watch on the um, on the arm of the most famous wearer of this uh, watch, which is Steve Wozniak, the Woz of Apple fame. Uh, you, you find, uh, if you search at YouTube and uh, you search for Nixie watch, you will immediately find a video where he demonstrates his uh, Nixie watch from David Forbes. And uh, just a little explanation, uh, Nixie tube is a technology of the past. It was used uh, from the uh, end of the 1950s up to the end of the 70s, perhaps uh, in, the, uh, in Russia and the eastern uh, states. They were even used in the, still into the 80s. Uh, but uh, the idea or the possibility to uh, make a watch out of Nixie tubes, that's quite modern. The first one who ever built one, to my knowledge, is uh, Jeff Thomas. He even had a four-digit uh, Nixie watch, uh, which looked like a soapbox when he, <coughs> when he was wearing it uh, on his arms. Sadly, he passed away recently. And uh, the, um, uh, the most often uh, sold Nixie watch is this one here from uh, David Forbes. I will give you his uh, internet address uh, down below in the comments. And uh, well, let's take a look at uh, what's inside. It's a um, custom made um, casing out of um, uh, aluminium and you can screw it open. It's even sealed with an O-ring and uh, to get inside you just screw it off and then you can uh, here you can see it's powered with a standard CR2 battery, battery which lasts for uh, uh, between four and six months uh, depending on how often you use it and you have two little push buttons. Uh, push the first and it goes into uh, set mode. Uh, the first is you can choose between 24 hour and 12 hour display. Uh, it might become a little bit overexposed uh, here uh, because I had to turn the light da lights down otherwise you wouldn't see anything. So next is the hour setting, the minutes sec setting and the seconds setting and last is you can even um, adjust the angle uh, when the Nixie lights up so it doesn't have an outside uh, switch or push button. It has an internal tilt sensor and that way it recognizes when the clock is, uh, when the watch is tilted to, f in this case, 45 degrees, which is the standard. And then it starts displaying. If you hold it in this position, position after displaying uh, hours and minutes, it will uh, count the seconds up and the seconds will start to fade, just uh, not to waste too much battery time. There are two things you should be aware of when um, you use this Nixie watch. First of all, uh, Steve Wozniak uh, said that uh, when he changes the time zone, when he is uh, flying, uh, most people get angry and think when he starts to unscrew his watch and is fiddling around with the uh, with the push buttons, uh, they suspect him of uh, being uh, a, a bomb terrorist. Uh, but well, that's uh, something something you have to live with. And second is what happened once to me is when I was uh, driving in a car and uh, was holding the watch at a, a constant angle 
on the steering wheel of 45 degrees. Uh, then at the end of the, of the drive, uh, the battery was empty because it was constantly displaying the time and I didn't recognize it. Uh, sorry to say, uh, the watch is not very uh, cheap, um, so uh, you have to invest a little. I, I even uh, saved some money uh, for about half a year just uh, to be able to afford it. Um, but it was really worth, uh, worth uh, the saving simply because uh, you really, everybody approaches you and talks to you when he sees this clock and uh, if, you, uh, if you look up your time and you're sitting in a, in a cinema, uh, you really, uh, <laughs> you can be sure that your neighbors will uh, ask what this strange watch is about. So, um, if you uh, either can't or don't want to afford a, this quite expensive uh, Nixie watch, uh, there's an alternative, not quite as nerdy, but much cheaper, and that's the Solar Time watch. It's a little bit difficult for me just to show it to you at the correct angle. Um, it's sold as a kit, so you have to assemble it by yourself. You can get it from spikenzielabs.com. I will also give you uh, the uh, homepage address down below in the comments. As you can see, it's, uh, uh, it's not very comfortable to, to wear, first of all, because uh, it has Velcro uh, straps uh, to hold it to your arm. Uh, and it has a casing made out of acrylic glass, so it's, it's simply lasered and consists of four discs that are assembled uh, together. Um, it only has one push button uh, and um, ah, that's one thing I should tell you. Now you can see it's, uh, though here at the lab it's quite readable, but here on the camera uh, screen. It's not very readable. Uh, there's one little mod I made with, not only with my Nixie watch, but with all Nixie clocks I have built. I paint uh, the Nixie tubes with uh, orange uh, glass color. In, in German it's called uh, bulb dipping lacquer. So anyway, it's a transparent orange color and this increases the contrast of the Nixie watch uh, very much. You, you can see here on, on the, uh, here at least I see on my camera screen how uh, bright and contrast the, um, the uh, Nixie tubes are. If uh, this orange uh, lacquer or this orange uh, glass paint wouldn't be on, it would be much less readable, especially outdoors. Uh, uh, yeah, I even can read my Nixie watch in nearly in direct sunlight. Anyway, outside when I'm in the in, a sh in the shadow, it's it's absolutely uh, good readable. And you should always uh, use a transparent filter uh, which matches the color of your display to increase contrast. I didn't do this here with the uh, solder time watch kit. I should perhaps uh, later I'll just place uh, a little red uh, transparent um, display film uh, over it. So anyway, um, it displays uh, time by pushing a single button. It's uh, quite easy to, uh, to assemble and to solder even for beginners and it's, it has uh, quite, still quite a big nerd factor. Um, Spikenzi Lab have even released a version 2, which I'll show you a printout of, uh, with a uh, uh, red matrix um, LED display. Uh, both, versions are, both versions are hackable. Uh, the uh, firmware is, um, is open source as far as I know anyway. Uh, I uh, modded the firmware to in, in two aspects. First of all, um, uh, because it's built in America, it often it it, uh, it of course has AM PM, so only a 12-hour display. And most of us Europeans here use the 24-hour format. 
So I modded uh, the firmware to display at 24 hours. I can show you if I remember how to set the clock. Usually it's, yeah, now I can set it. And if I press it longer, it will, um, yeah, now it accelerates and you will see that when it reaches uh, 12, it doesn't go back to uh, one, uh, but it goes over to 23. Second mod I did, uh, you will see that I used the European version of the numbers 6 and 9, how they are uh, displayed. That was uh, quite easy. So anyway, if you're interested in uh, the firmware, I once tried to upload them in the forum of Spikensi Lab, but somehow uh, I didn't get through. So anyway, uh, you can get, uh, you can download the firmware from our uh, server and I will give you the link to download. So, uh, not, uh, not much more to say about that. Uh, these are the two clocks, uh, at least one of them you should have on at hacker meetings, other social meetings, etc. And even that is too much or you don't want to assemble one of your own. So you can get uh, binary watches for a few bucks at eBay. I have two of them. I don't know, they cost between five and ten dollars or euros. Uh, the first one is relatively bright and it displays hours and minutes in binary format. Even the, uh, the date is uh, displayed. And the other one is a little bit more elegant. Let's see, but it only displays time. It has no um, date display. But uh, I really, to be honest, I rarely use one of these. I usually, when I go to meetings, have my Nixie watch or sometimes my solar time watch on me. So that was it for today. Uh, something different than uh, I usually present to you in the video series about what every maker should have, but perhaps for one or the other one of you quite interesting. And uh, that was it for today. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye from Kanka Labs.